They've been around yeah. for eons. Uh, so the most notorious of the events that took place in the lead up to the occupation of Nanking. Again, we're not even there yet. We're not to the horribleness yet. This is all just semantics. Uh, was the almost mandatory killing contest Japanese soldiers were made to participate in. The most famous of which was the competition between Mukai Tosh- Toshiaki and Noda Takashi. Takashi. Again, horrible with Asian names. And I'm perfectly fine with them when I'm saying them to myself, reading them on my phone, just trying to read through. I'm like, oh, that's how you pronounce yeah. it. And then, I, and then my mouth says, fuck off. I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this, this competition was actually covered by the Japan advisor like a sports contest. They had, like updates on it as they went along people could <laughs> follow, like, people like, could like, get like a, go ahead it's like i was gonna say it's like mortal combat or something like that like you know the guys are just people reporting could, on it the whole time people could follow along at home from the newspaper and see how well they were doing in their killing content how many chinese people <laughs> they decapitated so the oh, article Christ. goes as follows sub-lieutenant mukai toshiaki and sub-lieutenant noda Takashi, both of the category unit in Kuyung, in a friendly contest to see which of them will first fell 100 Chinese in individual sword combat before the Japanese forces completely occupy Nanking, are well in the final phase of their race, running almost neck to neck, which I find is bad fucking taste to say neck yeah, to yeah. neck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking, is, <laughs> is, like, is he going to say neck to neck? <laughs> I read that the first time I went, oh, come on. that, And I even said it to my wife. She's like, well, I wouldn't put it that way if I was you. I was like, it wasn't me. It's the fucking mm. newspaper. They yeah. put it that way. <laughs> on Sunday, December, again, this is still the article. On Sunday, December 5th, the score awaiting to, the score according to Asai, which I don't know who the fuck that is, they don't tell me, was Sub-Lieutenant Mukai, 89, and Sub-Lieutenant Noda, 78. A week later, the paper reported that neither man could decide who passed the 100 mark first, so they upped the goal to 150. Quote, oh, of course they yeah. did. Yeah. Mukai's blade was slightly damaged in the competition. He explained that this was the result of cutting a Chinese in half, helmet and all. When asked how he felt about the contest, Mukai said it was, quote, fun. That's that's like, I'm sorry, but that is the, the biggest kind of like dick measuring thing I've ever heard in my life. It's like, oh, yeah, 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 totally cut that guy right in half, helmet and everything. <laughs> it's like, it's uh, yeah, right. Come cut on. Cut him in half. Yeah. You know, crown to toe, not, not crosswise. I terrified, you know, terrified. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, nah, that's I, I don't believe a word of it. Not in the slightest. Well, maybe. I, I believe that they're they're killing all these people. I don't know if he cut cut them from, from crown to crotch or not, but <laughs> I believe the rest of it. Uh so again, before we get to Nanking, we're not even there yet. <laughs> Ha 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 